Here are five problems having a tight chest can create for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna be starting off with the least severe, in my own opinion, and then work my way up to the worst problem a tight chest can create. Adam here from trainingmassage.com. And the first problem a tight chest can create is going to be bad posture, like rounded shoulders and forward head posture. If you didn't know, the pec major can naturally get tight during the day when you're on a computer, driving, or training too much chest without working on your recovery. All of these daily actions, and I promise you there's more, will engage the chest in one way or another. And when this happens, the fascia on top of the chest, like the front arm line, will begin to tighten with the chest and pull the shoulders inward, creating something like rounded shoulders. Now on top of that, the peg major also has three heads to it. And if the clavicle head begins to get short and tight, it will actually pull that clavicle down along with the SCM, which then creates your forward head posture. Now the next problem a tight chest can create is going to be pain in the chest and the shoulder. And before we move on, having pain in the chest is a serious problem. So if that is something that you're experiencing, then please seek medical help immediately. But with that said, if you've been cleared of anything serious, then go ahead and pay attention because this might be the problem. Now pain in the chest and the shoulder is most likely created by something called trigger points, also known as muscle knots. And these knots can not only create pain where they are, but they can also create pain throughout different areas of the body. And when it comes to the chest, there are so many different kind of trigger points within them that can create pain in the chest, in the shoulder, in the elbow, and even in the fingers. Now, if you want to know which trigger points can create which different kind of pain, then make sure to stick around until the end. Now, speaking of referred pain, there is a deeper muscle in the chest that can actually create pain that feels like TOS, also known as thoracic outlet syndrome. And that one muscle is the subclavius, which is located right underneath your clavicle bone, meaning the top portion of the chest. So if you're working your chest and you feel pain up there, it may also be the subclavius underneath, which may also be creating your TOS. Now, I'm not gonna get into detail about the subclavius because I have another video about it that you can check out by clicking on the video in the top right corner. Or if you just wanna get rid of your TOS in 21 days or less, then you can also check out my 21 day TOS challenge. The link for that is in the description below. This brings us into the fourth problem having a tight chest can create, which is pain or trouble breathing. And this actually makes sense if you think about it. Having a tight chest means it's also gonna be restricting on your ribs, making it harder for you to breathe and fully inhale and exhale. So again, if you're having pain or trouble breathing and you've been cleared by your doctor for anything serious, then it just might be having a tight chest, which is restricting everything and creating your problems. Now the fifth and most scariest thing having a tight chest can create is going to be what's called a cardiac arrhythmia, which is pretty much an irregular heartbeat. There is one trigger point within the chest that can actually make your heart skip a beat, which usually might be a sign of a heart attack. But after digging into this trigger point a little more, I came to the conclusion that it's not that bad because this is pretty much the same kind of heartbeat skip that you get when you're feeling stressed or you had too much caffeine. But what makes this trigger point even more interesting, at least to me, is that it's only located on the right side of the body, the right pec. To look for this evil little bastard, you will need to look for a tender spot between the sternum and the nipple at the bottom of the right chest. So go below the nipple, probably around the fifth, sixth rib, and between the sternum and the nipple is going to be a tender spot if this is something you may have. Now once you find a nice tender area on that spot, then go ahead and perform some micro movements or just basic static pressure while taking big deep breaths for roughly two to four minutes or until you feel some sort of change within that area. And besides that one spot, there are other areas in the chest that can also house trigger points. Trigger points in the upper portion of the chest, which is called the clavicular head, can create pain in the front of the shoulder and the actual muscle itself, the top portion in the chest. Now, if you move down to the sternal head, which is the middle portion of the chest, then you will also have pain not only in that chest area, but also in the front of the shoulder, on the inside elbow, and even in the fingers, like the pinky, the middle finger, and the ring finger. And then finally, you have the lower portion, the costal head of the pec major, which not only houses that one trigger point that can create artificial heart attacks, basically, 
but it also creates trigger points or houses trigger points that creates pain in the lower portion of the chest. I just like how you worked on that nasty little trigger point to get rid of it. You can work on all these other different trigger points the same exact way. Or if you prefer to have an actual plan to follow along with, along with working with the other muscles that get tight along with the chest, then make sure to click on the video popping up in the top right corner. I'll see you over there.